Hi there, my name is Nadia Mackay and up until recently I was the Testing Services Director for a software testing consultancy. I was there for 12 years and I was the first employee at that time and helped um, be part of um, building that company up. Um, during that time I was exposed to different sectors um, because I worked as a consultant, I worked from banking, finance, um, drinks industry, power industry, insurance, you name it, I tested software across that gambit. But the same rules apply um, when you're doing software testing um, across all types of industries. What is software testing? It's basically a part of a development life cycle which is critical in ensuring that the software that's going to be delivered to the end customer, whether it's internal or ex external, is fit for purpose. It's safe, it's secure, it's of a high quality, it does what the customer expects. So part of a software tester's job is to run the tests on developer's code, for example, um, to the point of speaking to the end customer and asking them, what is it you're going to do with this software and make sure it works the way in which they want. There's loads to it. You take things into considering um, consideration such as risk, massive part of it. Um, because actually by testing software you're mitigating the risk of something going, going wrong with it. You never find every bug, don't let anyone tell you that, but you want to find the ones that are going to cause issues for your business. It's been a really exciting um, journey for me, I never started off in software testing, in fact I wasn't in any way um, IT um, literate back in the day when I left school um, or when I was in fifth and sixth year doing my hires and things. I was kind of pushed into doing languages because um, my mum's Italian. Um, wasn't particularly good at Italian, wasn't particularly good at languages full stop. Um, so I went to Napier um, University as it is now. I don't, I think it changed to Polytechnic while I was there. Very good university, um, I've had engagement with them since that. Um, but at the time I was doing languages um, with secretarial studies, believe it or not. Um, now, I didn't really know about computing or computers, um, that was back in the very late 80s, um, but there was, they had sort of introduced um, an additional subject that we could do um, and it was about learning about payroll and it was computerised and it was actually an optional subject and I just decided, oh, I'll give that a go, quite fancy trying that and I absolutely loved it. I didn't really know where that would lead to but it was always in the back of my mind that that was something I enjoyed. When I left, um, um, Napier, a friend of mine was working for a pension fund reporting company and they were looking to take on people who were had finished it, um, graduated from either college or university and they also took school leavers as well um, just to train them up um, and you know I needed a job and wanted a job and I went there and uh, they were so ahead of themselves um, as an organisation um, I loved doing the analysis on the on the pension funds um, learning about the stock market and everything um, and I was one of those people who just wanted to consist, can, you know, do more where can I go and help someone and I was always asking um, so when it came to they were doing um, a migration from the old mainframe if you may or you probably haven't ever heard of that um, they are still out there um, but um, it was it was completely different uh, language it was something called COBOL um, that it was it, it, it was uh, coded in, and you know you you actually went and and these women punch did punch cards. I don't know if you've ever seen old videos, um, of all these big computers and rooms. That's what it was like, um, but they were migrating all that to a relational database, uh, which is what a lot of systems are built upon. All your cloud based systems and things now, um, at that time, and because I was um, I knew a lot about the business because um, I had been nosy as I say and put myself forward they asked me if I wanted to do something called user acceptance testing which is an area of software testing and it's the test people the, the people who were already in that department usually the programmers and developers basically taught, taught me about the technical side of things whereas I taught them about the business side and how you'd be using that system um, and the, the original intention was I'd go back to the business but I never actually did um, and from then on in um, I, work, I, I moved into testing and I did, there are specific exams and things that you can do um, and so I became a professional tester um, which was something by that point, by the mid 90s um, 
and late in 2000, etc. It is a career choice that you can make. You will see software test analysts, quality assurance analysts, test engineers, um, these kind of roles being advertised now um, as, as a real job. And um, the way into it um, is no, there's, there are different routes. So you can go to university and study computer science or a similar type degree. Um, but what I've done most um, recently in my job is I've brought in people into the organisation and trained them how to be testers. Some of them came from a um, computer science background. Some of them had did other things at university. For example, we've had a number of people who did um, things like physics and maths. Uh, there was people who did psychology who seemed to really get it, um, which I'm not entirely sure of, but a lot of a tester's role is engaging with people and finding out, as I said before, about how the software actually is expected to work by the end user. Um, so having those kind of engagements and be able to empathise and talk to people is another skill. Um, so I brought trainees into the business from, as I say, all walks of life. Some people came straight from school and didn't really necessarily want to go to university but wanted to have a, a strong career path. And um, so that's that's there for you. Um, it, it's 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 a good um, it's a good balance of someone who enjoys coding, for example. But maybe if you're someone who feels well, I want to do a little bit beyond that, uh, I want to engage with people. I actually want to be a customer. I want I want to be in um, customer facing roles. It's a good it's a good role to be able to um, do both. Um, me, myself, I think I got some really good breaks. Uh, when I worked for that pension um, fund company way, way back, uh, the person who led the, the testing department um, subsequently went to a consultancy firm and I went to work for her there. Um, and then I worked for some um, another person in that organisation at one point and they both went and set up the company that I worked for for, for the last 12 years. Um, so I went and joined them. So I was very lucky I had people who mentored me, who saw something in me and, and, and asked me to, to join them. Um, and I would recommend, you know, whatever job you end up doing, if someone's um, really wanting to help you, find someone who really wants to be your mentor and bring you on, listen to them, you know, take their advice. And, and that's been a, you know, a, a, a great thing. They focused on my strengths, not what I wasn't good at, but the things that I was good at. Um, you don't need to be really technically minded. You need to have an interest in technology. But all all of us do nowadays. We we are we're kind of forced into that um, that role because everything works around your home your home systems. If you've got these, uh, you know, to control your heating. It's technology. It's software that's sitting behind that. Um, everything on your streaming streaming devices. You know, uh, there's a, there's a lot of things now in uh, TV and video. You know, there's software sitting behind that. So there's there's all there's always um, there's always something to be to, to be learning new. I mean, I have worked in different uh, as a consultant. I when I worked as a consultancies, our clients, you know, all varied as I said. So I have learned um, things about you know from when I worked for a drinks retailer, um, from the orcharding of an apple, that is actually part of the process. You actually put, you know, what orchard that's coming from uh, into the system, right to the point of that, you know, the cider being distributed to the various, whether it's shops, whether it's pubs, and also the invoicing, um, you know, invoicing them and the payments coming back in. So you, you get to, as a software tester, you get to see, um, lots of list aspects of the life cycle of a business um, and that's been the thing that, that has driven me um, for all of these years so my advice is um, you know do, don't change yourself look at the things that you're strong in and um, don't pigeonhole yourself because as I've said there I didn't have an IT background I hadn't tinkered with computers um, so even and it's just having having that drive uh, to innovate and a lot of people in science technology they're constantly innovating um, and thinking about new ways of doing things better ways of doing things so if you're one of those people uh, this could be the industry for you um, good luck with everything thank you bye <laughs>